So as we jump into natural language processing, let's take a look at Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a startup company. You access it through the website that you see here. And they are just taking the AI world by storm. They started out by making natural language processing transformers available, but they now allow you to host your own models there. They've become absolutely a hub for AI. Let me take you through their interface, show you some of what you'll be interested in here. So you can see I am logged into here and I, I very much encourage you to get an account with them. You can go to your, your profile. You can see I have not done a lot with Hugging Face yet. Um, I could be uploading models here or data sets. I usually put my data sets at Kaggle, but I could certainly certainly put them here and maybe that's something I should look at. You can um, go to your account and then settings because this becomes important. And over here, you'll see access tokens and also SSH and GPG keys. Access tokens are what you'll probably make use of. Let me see if it shows you anything that I will need to delete. No. So I have created an access token here. And this access token allows me to use my account here in an automated Pythonic way. So I can basically download other models that other people have created. And I, I made use of this earlier in the class and pointed you here to get this. This is free. You're not racking up any charges. Unlike when you go get, say, a ChatGPT through OpenAI uh, token. SSH and GPG keys, you won't use those until you start uploading models to it. I believe that's probably doing authentication and so what you'll be interested in here is if you you can go to models, data sets, and other other things. We'll get into some of these in a moment, but let's look at models. Here you can see the vast array of models that are available. So if you do stable diffusion. So this is one particular training of a stable diffusion model. You can see they even put the LaTeX in here so that you can cite this if you're making use of one of these models. There are just a ton of models here. Some of them even provide user interface that you can actually interact with the model to a degree. For instance, the, the hosted Stable Diffusion, it's, it's there as a space. We'll see those in a moment, but you can even use this for Stable Diffusion. I don't know if they let you select some of the, the more custom models, it, but at any rate, I can do Bulldog swimming under the ocean being chased by a shark and a lawn mower. Generate image. I like to just give it the most random thing I can think of. And it's generating it now, and this can be one place that you can use to generate images. Uh, not, not the best in the world, but it's a bulldog as a shark. That's fascinating. But anyway, uh, this is... The, the, this is just one, one example. He looks very scared there. Data sets. This is similar to the Kaggle data sets. You, they put a variety of data sets with images, other things as well. And this is just a place that you can host your data sets. We don't make use of the data sets yet in this class all that much, but that's definitely an option. We, we typically host the data sets in Kaggle for, for this. Spaces is something um, else. These are where you're able to put things like that stable diffusion thing that I just showed you and I'll basically allow people to play with and uh, interact with. There's, there's some where it'll generate music, all kinds of, of neat, neat things. Solutions, we're going to make use of some of these. Perhaps like auto train is definitely one that I am, um, that I'm looking at. So this is Hugging Face. It is something that you'll definitely be making use of as an artificial intelligence uh, professional, and we'll be making use of it also in this section on natural language processing. Thank you for watching this video. Give me a like if this was useful and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the additional content uh, and other material in this course.